hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create auto complete text box control using angular JS and here we got the final output and I'm also over on the text box control notice we got a data list drop down see the angular JS the employee details array list is binded into this data list control now let's search for the employee name Verma V V see here we got the Verma search for C Charan now I want to search with employee ID here we got four records the employee ID 1 2 3 4 now the employee ID is 4 is the con the employee ID 2 is Sam that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Now in this new one page, I am adding a simple HTML code. HTML, I am closing the HTML tag. Header section, I am closing the header section. Body, I am closing the body tag. Uh, inside this body, I'm adding a center tag. I'm closing the center tag. H1 How to implement Auto complete text box. I'm using Angular.js. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding a simple text box control. Input type is equals to text. I'm closing the text box control. Placeholder is equals to such. That's it. Up to now, we have just finished the designing part before adding the angular js auto complete text box control let's save this file angular js auto complete text box dot htm i'm saving the file let's check the output how it looks at designing part on the browser and this is the output of that html code Right now this page contains a simple HTML header tags and one text box control. Now my aim is I want to make this simple text box into auto complete text box using AngularJS. So first thing when we are implementing AngularJS we require the latest AngularJS CDN link for that search for AngularJS latest CDN. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option. And here in this website, angular.js, you can find the angular.js, angular and angular2 CDN links. I'm using angular.js, so I require the version of CDN 1.5.11. So after selecting the version, I need the CDN link which is this one angular.min.js let's copy this one once I copy I'm placing between the header section script source is equals to I'm pasting the CDN link I'm closing the script tab after that I'm adding another script for the angular snippet declaring a variable app is equals to angular dot module between double quotes I'm adding the angular application name which I'm adding after the body in a div container I'm closing this div container after the center tag now this div tag I'm adding the angular js director ng app is equals to my app is the application name of the angular js 
so whatever the controls we are placing between this div tag it belongs to this angular application so let's add this my app between this double quotes in the script comma after that I require the controller is a method in the same view I'm adding ng iPhone controller is equals to my controller is an angular controller name let's add that one also between double quotes comma function dollar scope now in this function I'm adding some employee records dollar scope dot emp details is equals to the first one is a emp id colon the employee id is, is a number so I don't require the double quotes comma emp name you double quotes Sharon email Sharon at gmail.com comma the second employee details I'm just copying this part I'm adding here the employee ID is two Sam the employee name Sam at gmail.com let's add the another record employee ID 3 and one more is the email ID is v at gmail.com the employee ID 4 con k at gmail.com now I don't require this one for this EMP ID I have closed it here that's it we have added some data into this angular.js snippet now let's bind this in this text box control when I search for particular employee I want to get the drop down list for that I'm using data list control I'm closing the data list and this data list I'm I'm closing the option let's copy this one paste here the first option in this data list is value is equals to empty and the second option I'm binding this employee details in this data list option in the option ng iPhone repeat is a direct to x is an object in I'm adding the EMP details I'm adding the value is equals to between double quotes I'm adding the angular expression x dot the column name emp id I'm adding the multi-dimensional drop down control so x dot employee name this double quotes is yeah so after that I'm adding in the input text box control ng iPhone model the model name is search I'm giving the list is equals to the list name I'm adding the data list ID is equals to EMP names copy this one paste here after that in the second option in the ng repeat 
I'm adding the filter attribute colon ng model. We are getting the search results from this text box control. Let's search with employee ID of employee name. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output. And I'm also over on the text box control. Notice we got a data list drop down. See? The AngularJS, the employee details array list is binded into this data list control. Now let's search for the employee name Verma V. V. See here we got the Verma. I search for C. Charan. Now I want to search with employee ID. Here we got four records. The employee ID 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the employee ID is 4. is a con. The employee ID 2 is Sam. That's it.